Hello everyone. How are y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a blessed day on today. Today I decided to share with y'all my chicken texture zini. This is a quick and easy way of making it. This is my quick and easy chicken texture zini, okay? In this pot, as y'all can see, I have some uh, my uh, spaghetti pasta boiling. And, and I'm going to show y'all this. This is something I uh, got from Sam's. Uh, this is the, I think it's like a day old chicken, they uh, which they had cooked it the day before. You know, they had it out and then they selling it for a cheaper price, okay? And so I decided to get some of this and y'all can see it's some breast quarters, okay? Well, and I'm going to show y'all the rest of this that I'm going to put in there. I have some cheddar, cheddar, mild cheddar, and some cream of chicken. And some bell pepper and onion and some butter. You can use margarine, either one, it doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put my butter. I'm gonna start off with like a half a half a stick of butter. I may not need it all. Cause all I'm gonna do is saute these vegetables. Okay. I got like a half a cup of onion and a half a cup of bell pepper. Yeah. Saute these. And what I usually do if I don't have any broth, what I'm doing is get some of this out. I'm going to add this to the vegetables. I'm going to add these to the vegetables. I have some pasta in it. We don't want to put the pasta in it. Okay, I'm going to saute these. I'm going to let these cook for a while and I'm going to be right back. Okay, right here, as y'all can see, this is the, the rotisserie chicken. What I'm doing now, I'm deboning it. You debone it. While I'm deboning this, we gonna I'm gonna talk with y'all a little while. So how have y'all been doing? I know y'all been missing me. I'm trying to get myself back on track, okay? <coughs> Since the holidays. But I hope y'all all been doing good. I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for subscribing and commenting me. Sometimes I may not get to the comments right then. I may give you a heart, but later on, I will comment back with you just to let you know I did read it. And so, if y'all just see the heart, that means I love y'all and I do read it, okay? But there's not one comment I do not read. I read all of my comments. Okay? So... Well, Happy New Year to everyone. Okay. And I'm going to let y'all know, I did one day, I was, we, we, me and my daughters had to go to, to Jasper, uh, on a, on some business, and so we went to this little country store, and y'all, guess what? I met one of my subscribers there. Yes. Her name is Greta. Her name is Greta. Greta, is you listening to me? Hello. I hadn't forgot about you. Yeah, y'all. Um, I even took a picture with her. And um, I'm just happy to she she know me. You my my first uh, my first uh, subscriber that I have just met. You know, and so I'm just very happy about that. And she was happy also. Because uh, I wanted all my subscribers to see you. Because we met, like I said, we met at a little country meat market. We love to go and visit the meat market. And so, and we met Miss Greta there. Okay, y'all, I'm putting some more um, water in my vegetables that I'm sauteing. I was putting more water in the vegetables. Okay, and me... 
take some more meat off well yes y'all um i got more videos it's, it's coming up more and more videos some people had to sent me and they want me to try them and, and i'm going to try the recipe there's a, a cake a lady want me to try and i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna share it with you all can't wait to taste it uh, you know something just can sound good and that cake really sounds delicious and so i'm gonna get it done one day i forgot what the lady name is but i will she emailed it to me and so i'm gonna do it okay this should be enough chicken i may get just a little bit more off let me just get a little bit more off okay all right well y'all i want to let y'all know that i love you all and i miss you all and I'm back, okay? I am back. I'm going to be uploading more and more videos. Some that my mother shared with me. And some that I want to try. And there's some that other people wants me to try. Okay. Okay, I think this is... Okay, y'all, let me get my all my other food together. I'm going to be right back. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I did not drain these noodles. These ha do have some water in them. They got some water in them. What I'm do, I'm going to add my vegetables, my sauteed vegetables here. I'm going to stir the, that up a little bit. I'm also going to add my chicken. Daddy. Okay. And okay, we're going to stir this up. I'm going to stir this up. Y'all, this is so fast and quick and easy to do. This is a one dish meal. And your vegetable meat. And it's an all in one meal okay now i'm gonna add my cream with chicken see this um see this is is see how smooth this cream with chicken is and see that's why i say you may need some um some chicken broth but you don't have, have to it all depends now the camels i noticed that the camels um, soup, cream of chicken soup is more thicker. But I just used the, the Walmart brand or whatever. But anyway, it's, see how it is? You can just pour it. That's what I like about it. You can just pour it. See, I'm making a lot, so. Okay, let me finish. Make sure I get all of the cream chicken here. Now I'm going to add some cheese. And you can use whatever type of cheese you want. But I prefer the mild cheddar. I'll put a little of that in there. And, and some people get this mixed up with chicken spaghetti. No, this is not chicken spaghetti. This is chicken tixtrazzini. Yeah, you know, a lot of people get this mixed up with chicken spaghetti. But this is a... This is, there's some, it's almost like it, but it's not. It's almost there, but it's, mm -mm. <clears throat> I know some people are saying, you put a lot of cheese in your food. They, that's the way my kids prefer it to be. So that's why I fix it like that with a lot of cheese. Y'all, I'm going to taste this and see if it's missing anything. And if you want to, you can always add black pepper to it. But, yeah. 
But see, I didn't have to add any seasoning, you remember, because the chicken was already seasoned, because this is a rotisserie chicken that I'm adding. And if you don't have the rotisserie chicken, you can bake some chicken. And you know I got the video on how to bake chicken. Or you can boil it. Either way, you can do what it, whichever way you want, you can do it. Let me taste this. I'm going to taste this and see does it have everything. Because it may not have any salt because I didn't add any salt. I'm going to add just a little salt, and I'm also going to add just a little black pepper. Let's see. Add a little salt. And a little black pepper. And if you want to, you can add a little onion salt, whatever you prefer. But I don't think you need it because the chicken is already seasoned. It's good to go now. Like I say, you can put as much or less cheese as you prefer. Okay, y'all, what I'm doing now, let me move this over so y'all can see. I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this over into this pan. Y'all can see, pouring it over in there. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about 20 or 25 minutes until it starts bubbling some. Y'all, I kind of overdid it. Y'all see that? But it'll do. It'll be okay. I got something under there to catch it. Or if it does that, just put it in a on top of a cookie sheet. It'll be okay. Okay, what I have done is uh i have y'all see i cover my cookie sheet with some foil this is for easy cleanup and i'm going to put this on here just in case it bubbles off yes in case it bubbles off okay and i'm also going to add some more cheese you can put more or less whatever you want to put on here you can put more or less i'm going to sprinkle a little bit on here You may not want all this on it. You don't even have to put it on there. But this is the way I do mine. Okay. Like I say, I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven. For about 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to be right. Okay, y'all. I am back. This has been in the, in the oven for like 25 minutes. And I'm going to show y'all. Y'all see the end results? This is a lot, y'all. I didn't know I was making this much. I did not know that. Okay. But let me... This is my chicken zany. My chicken texture zany here. I hope y'all try this recipe. It is so simple to make, y'all. As y'all can see, it is so simple to make make okay put just a little bit on, on here for my thumbnail a little bit more on here okay, uh, here we go this is my chicken tetrazzini y'all to see this y'all this is so good and so simple to make Okay, y'all. Well, I'm getting ready to close. I'm getting ready to close. Showing y'all this big casserole I have here. I'm getting ready to close. And I'm going to say, y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye for now. Okay, y'all. Here's my granddaughter, Chessa. And she's going to try the chicken texture zini. Yes. Okay. You going to tell everybody hello? Hello. Okay. Go ahead and try it. Okay. It's real good. Cheesy. Moist. I like it. 
I like her a lot. No, okay. <laughs> y'all, she just got home in from school and she was ready to dig in. All right, y'all. Y'all hear it, Chester? Now, what do you think about it? It was good. Y'all should try it. Okay, y'all. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. Let her finish eating her chicken texture thingy. <laughs> and we're going to say what? Bye-bye for now. All right. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye-bye.